Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for the December 2016 Tarot Scopes. I'm zoomed in because I just uh, accidentally did that. I thought it looked so freaky with the eyes there, but we're going to zoom back out. <laughs> the big news is that the year ahead readings are available. A lot of people are ordering them. It's going to be for a limited time until the end of the year. I may extend it a few days into January, but it's a tarot reading just like you've always seen me do here and it's for the whole year I break it down into four quarters and I also take a look at the transits to your chart too quickly so it's a really good reading lots of people enjoy it I do it every year in addition the other big news in addition to my book tarot in the modern world which I always have in the adult coloring books I've got the 2017 calendars are available there's they're turned out so great um, I have the tapestry of life this is the front of both and this is the back of both uh, the Tapestry of Life is with the Tapestry of Life mandalas, and it's a little bit more elegant. Um, and then we have also, uh, if you like something more fun and funky, the Rock and Roll Prophetess every month has your astrological sign and the glyph and the the uh, star sign symbol glyph um, thing. This that's the constellation. And what what these both have, and there's a coloring book version of this too. What these both have is some basic astrology. Not a ton of astrology where you have to know how to read ephemeris. Just to know when the new moons are, what sign they're in, the full moons, super moons, eclipses, when Mercury's retrograde. When Mercury's retrograde is marked in these d darker areas, then you know that that's a Mercury retrograde. Just some basic astrology that everybody wants to know. All of these things, including my deck that we're going to use today, the tarot, Rock and Roll Tarot deck, and the Animal Totem card, which we're going to use today, all these make great gifts for you or ones you love. So if you've seen my readings before, skip past the introduction, but I'm going to do a brief introduction to save time on the individual readings as to how my tarot readings work. Thank you for joining me. Have a great December, and I can't wait to read your cards. Bye. First of all, I want you to take time to gaze upon each card. There are messages in the image and text. Pause the video if you have to, because the words will shift and change to reveal a message that is just for you. This is Empowerment Tarot. I'm not here to tell you how to lead your life, and no one should. Trust your own intuition and allow your guides and angels to speak directly to you. If this reading does not resonate with you, be sure to check your rising and moon sign for further insights and illuminations. Finally, as to the court cards, which represent the people in the spread. Because this is a general reading for so many people, the court cards will not be gender specific. So even though I may refer to a queen as a female, as she is represented on the card, it really could be anybody in these general readings. So now without further ado, on to the readings. Hi Pisces, thanks for joining me for December 2016. Let's get right into it. December 2016, Pisces. Pisces, December 2016. Pisces, December 2016. Mm. Pisces, December 2016. Okay, well there's some different things going on here. Let's get these all in line. I'm doing the year ahead readings for everybody. I do kind of a similar but different spread. i got to get my mind wrapped back around doing these. Because I usually start backwards so I can upload them. I up finish yours first so it uploads first so then everything's in easy order. Anyhow. You know, the first card out is the Eight of Rods in Reverse. So this says things are not going as fast as you'd like or news is delayed. But sometimes it can also say don't rush into anything. And for many of you, I feel like that is definitely what the message is here. You've got Wheel of Fortune there. So Wheel of Fortune is an awesome card. I mean, I, like I always say, I didn't put it on the cover of the deck because um, it sucks. <laughs> you know? I put it on there because it's, it's one of the most positive cards in the deck. It means, you know, fate, fortuna, things are going your way. It talks about cycles, and then when the wheel is up, things are on, you're, you're on a roll, things are looking up. It also is a major card of destiny. Okay, that's the first word I put up there, destiny. And it's about timing. And when things, I always often think of it, as I've said before, as a combination lock. It's just like click, 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 bam, everything's in place. That's why I feel like for some of you this might be saying don't rush into every, anything. 
because you do have the temperance card in reverse. And temperance temperance and upright is awesome. It's balance and harmony and all that, but it's your angels guides. They're trying to um they're trying to put the right thing together for you. They're trying to line up the right connections and the right path to open and the right synchronicities because wheel is totally about synchronicities too. So when it's in reverse, it can say, well, we don't quite have it all lined up yet here, or this, what you really want, if there's something that you're really wanting in your head, in your mind, in your mental mind, it may not be quite the right thing. When the right thing comes along, you're going to know it. There's not going to be hesitation. There's not going to be, but, oh, you know, this and this, you know, um, well, maybe I should, don't settle. This is not a time to settle, okay? This is a time to just give it a little bit, another turn, Give it another turn around here and see what the wheel can come up with. Because I feel like the wheel's coming up with some good stuff for you. This is about breaking patterns here. If some of you have been through some major stuff here, you know, the Three of Swords is a major stuff. This is I've had my heart broken. I've been I've been hurt. Um, and by following things that aren't quite in balance or don't quite seem right, this is the result you'll you'll get again. So you don't have to do that, because that's what Fool in Reverse is telling us. Fool in Reverse is saying, don't take, make the same mistake twice. Um, try a different approach. That's like doing the same thing over and over again is the definition of insanity. And sometimes with the Fool, it's like, um, I'm, I, you're, so pe people can be like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm making this new beginning, but really it's just the same old story again. See, that's, that's another trap that we get into. And it happens a lot in relationships, you know, people date the same guy in a different pair of pants, I've heard that saying, right? Or whatever, you know, you, you have a type, and that type isn't always good for us. It's a time to toss this stuff aside here, because the wheel is showing up, so some good things are brewing, some good things are happening. And wheel is a major arcana card. These cards are not major arcana cards. This is your own earthly manipulations and wants and desires and, uh, you know, things in your mind. You know, so get out of your mind, let the wheel take you where it wants to take you, let it present what they're still, they're still working on it up there. Not quite ready. It's going to take a minute. <laughs> what number is that? It's 14. Hmm. I think for some of you we're talking about February, like that would not be the 14th month, but you think of February as 14, uh, Valentine's Day, but like if, the, if December is 12, if you kept going, right, you get December is 12, January would be 13, and 14 would be February. So I think for some of you something's going to really pop in February. Um, there's a lot to do at this time, too. This is also saying we can just get overwhelmed. We can get overwhelmed and we can get sloppy, so it's time to chill out. On this, though, we do have this Four of Swords in Reverse. So this is saying that many of you are just coming out of a, a, a healing time, like you just got over something. So you just got over this big hump, the, the wheels here, we're, we're turning into the upward uh, direction, and then, so don't go and do the same thing again. A lot of this may stem around uh, this person here, this uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So if you watch the intro, you would know that either of these could be male or female. Sometimes when I get both, though, like this, Earth, you know, uh, we've got the knight and the queen here, so maybe one is a female and one is a male, but it still could be anybody in the general readings. Um, one thing they do have in common, though, is usually there's a connection with the money, with the pentacles, or their earth signs, which is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or this is during uh, the time of Capricorn, which is after the solstice um, on the 21st, this, this is winter, so, well, solstice, summer in the north, southern, southern hemisphere. But anyways, I digress. Solstice. After the solstice, we the sun moves into Capricorn, so that could be when they're talking about this. To me, this feels like two distinctly different people, two distinctly different energies. One is not favorable, and the other is very favorable. And it does connect to your money, right? Strength in reverse. That's kind of what we're showing up here, because strength is about, like, have strength, have patience. Don't rush into anything. That, if I had to say one sentence to you for this month, it would be don't rush into anything. Okay? Don't go along with this plan just because um, they're dangling at something in front of you, like, but it's really not what you want or it's kind of the same old thing again. I mean, it could be romance for some of you. It could be. 
And by the way, those are going to be back in January. I'll be back with the romance readings. I'm, I'm real busy with the year ahead private readings, so I'm, I didn't get to that uh, this month again. Coming back in January, though, for sure. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, so it, to me it feels like there's these are two, these represent the two different paths that you can travel on, the two different people that are presenting opportunities with you, the two different uh, energies that you could be interacting with, okay? Um, so we want to go with the, the second one. It feels, too, like these are sequential. This is what's first or showing up now, and then this is what comes a little bit later. And I feel like you should hold on there. At least hold on till after the solstice, okay? Don't make any crazy decisions until after the solstice because when things move into earth you're going to be more grounded and just getting over everything of the holiday you know uh whatever holidays you celebrate it's just a hectic hectic time for people and again don't forget to check out some of my stuff over here it's uh makes good gifts they really are really cool i really i'm using i'm going to be using my own calendars it's the calendar i always wanted to have and it's very easy to understand it's not like it's you need to be a master astrologer to uh know what it's talking about. Okay. Oh, I got too many. A bunch of them fell out that time. What is the card for Pisces for? Uh, December 2016. I was almost saying January. The pig. Is it only one card? It feels like more than one. No, only one. Pig's not a bad card. Pig's abundance. I know we don't like the pig in our society, in uh, American society, but... Tenacious, steadfast, bold, independent, bringer of luck, prosperity, and wealth. Feast and celebration and gratitude. Prolific creation, a time of great fertility. So it is a time of great fertility. And it's, it's shown to us with the pig energy, and it's shown to us with the Wheel of Fortune being here. The Wheel of Fortune trumps all this stuff, I would really say. Like I said, I feel like it's like the best card in the deck. So there's things that, even if... If, if what it seems to be, if you take a look around and say, well, geez, these are my choices, and, mm, you know, you're just kind of not that into any of it, then give it a minute. Give it a minute. See what happens. There's something else on the way. There's something uh, being cooked up there. On the <laughs> Your spirit guides and angels are cooking something up there, and um, they're going to bring it forth, Okay. Uh, and it is great abundance, you know, and it is money. But uh, this pig energy is not even just about money. It's health. It's it's good luck and fertility and abundance in all walks and all areas of life. Okay? All right, everybody. Hey, thanks for joining me for the December readings. I appreciate everything you guys do, liking and sharing and stuff. You can find out all the information about the calendars and the year ahead readings up in the eye in the sky in the corner here, the little eye. And then don't forget to hit subscribe. I don't bombard you. Also, through there or below, you can find uh, the links to all the stuff. And, <coughs> excuse me, the link to the Facebook, which I post. If you like the animal totems, I post a weekly one on the Facebook page. And there's also a daily one on my website. i got to get a drink of water. Sorry. I was going to try to push through. There's a tickle in my throat. It isn't going away. So thank you for everything you do again. Remember you are love and beauty incarnate. Have a great holiday season, and I'll speak to you soon.